Rosie Bird, welcome back to Mario Golf Super Rush. Today, we are going to a whole new area. Of course, last episode, we qualified for the bronze badge here in Ridge Rock Lake, but now we're moving over to some kind of sand dune area, some kind of desert. Not exactly sure what it was called, I don't remember. But we'll find out in just a moment. This is Balmy Dunes. Whoa. Of course, this is a desert but it's actually quite a relaxing little area so far. I like it. Usually when I think of desert, I think of like too hot. It's uncomfortable almost. This looks relaxing, I like it for sure. Balmy Dunes isn't just a golf course, it's a full-fledged resort within a desert oasis. This The course is tournament caliber, but the heat has been so severe lately, they haven't been able to host any events. That's not good. Balmy Dunes is normally hot, but like, Pleasantly hot. Lately, it's been scorching. What is up with this weather? Hmm. Well, hopefully, we can get to the bottom of it. You a golfer? Whoa! Sorry, just saw your badge there. Guessing you came to play? Yeah. It's too hot to play Balmy Dunes during the day right now, so if you want to tee it up, the course opens at dawn. Oh, that's cool. I hear Ridge Rock Lake and Wild Weather Woods get a lot of rain, but the skies here at Balmy Dunes are always clear. I don't like getting wet but I get that some folks might not want to be out in the sun all day, every day either. We all have things we enjoy. What is this by? The north road here leads on up to the town on the back nine, but there's a flood blocking the way. So I guess we can't go that way quite yet. No big deal, I wanna keep it here to the balmy dunes. I can't take this heat. That's why I'm in my shell under this umbrella. And I have another tiny umbrella inside the shell that you can't see. There you go, extra protective. Maybe use some sunscreen as well. Speed golf is the most popular style of play here at Balmy Dunes. Oh, so I wonder if each area will get different types of golfing. Golfers should carry a water bottle and be sure to stop by the oasis just beyond the ninth hole. The back nine is at a higher elevation and it's much cooler, so no need to carry water for that part. Cool. The Balmy Dunes course is a real sweat fast. That's why the food here is so packed with electrolytes. Okay, okay, it's salty. That's what I'm really trying to say. <laughs> All right. I wanna go to Wild Weather Woods so bad, but I need to trek through the desert to get there. The The way to the Wild Weather Woods is beyond the oasis that lies just past the ninth hole. Hmm, cool. There's a legend in this town that the unnatural spikes in temperature are caused by a bird born from fire. Stories speak of it flying endlessly around the desert, keeping the clouds away and the sun scorching down on us. They say it fears lightning, but who knows if it's even real. Hmm, sounds cool. The storms at Ridge Rock Lake and the constant rain at Wild Weather Woods are both due to the clear skies here. Well, that's a rumor I heard anyway. Please don't take it too seriously. Hmm. Welcome, Zebra. Anything you wanna buy? Ooh, we got a store. So we can't afford everything, but we can only so afford some things. We got the Dry Bone Shell 3 Wood. Hits low trajectory shots that can bounce off bunkers. Sure. We have the Bull Bill 7 Iron. Bull or hits shots that are less susceptible to wind, but harder to control. Okay. And we have the Pokey Sandwich. Increases control in bunkers. That sounds nice. Cool attire, reduces water loss. Oh, that would actually be useful, but I can't quite afford it at the moment. Reduces speed loss in bunkers, quicksand, and waste areas. Probably want this one, so we'll get that equipped. Hopefully soon we can get the cool attire. Bombay Dunes wasn't really damaged by the storm, but sandstorms seem to be a lot more frequent now. Play starts early, and we finish up before the sun is overhead. If we push past that, the heat becomes too dangerous. Okay, so I guess we're good to talk to these two. As you can see, Balmy Dunes is a desert course. A sand wedge is a must for when you land in a sand trap. The course is also quite long, so you'll want some clubs that offer good distance, like a driver, three wood, and four hybrid. Hold on, let's go over that again. Wait, your bronze badge doesn't qualify for, for standard golf here, but speed golf is open to you. Do note that our local rules are a bit different than the usual though. You wanna give it a try, how about a practice round? Never mind. If you change your mind, come on back anytime to register for a practice round. I'll do that in just a moment. I wanna see his suggestions for golf clubs again. So we need a sand wedge. Sand wedge, a driver, three wood, and four hybrid. Okay. 
Got our standard sand wedge, and then we have the pokey sandwich. I think this is better because it increases the control in bunkers. Hmm. And then he said three wood. We can do the green shell one. Yeah, this is the skim across the water. I don't know how much water we're gonna find around here. Out of bunkers, here we go. Maybe that's a better move. And then we won't need the nine wood. And I think he said four hybrid. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it with that for now. Well, actually, ah, oh, I keep doing the wrong guy. <laughs> I need to change the shoes and stuff. So our newest shoes, we also got the climbing shoes last episode were just the speed loss and inclines, but I think desert shoes would be good for now. And for this, sure. We'll wanna change it soon enough, but for right now, that's good enough. Great, you're registered for a three hole practice round. Head on over to the first tee when you're ready. Which will be uh, down this way, I guess. We'll talk to some more people. We aren't officially open, so there's no starter working the first tee right now. After registering at the front desk, you can head right to the first tee and swing away. You wanna visit the Wild World of Woods? Of course. Ah, well, you've already checked out the road to get there? No. Aha, then I have some useful info for you. The road is out, flooded. You can't get there at all. Remember who told you? I think I didn't know, but I just wanted to talk to him more. Hello. You can usually get to Wild Weather Woods real easy from Balmy Dunes, but there's a huge boulder blocking the river. The road is flooded. So if you want to beat the heat and get out of Balmy Dunes, well, good luck. All right, well, let's go for it. Verifying badge, bronze confirmed. Practice round, registration confirmed. Keep an eye on your water. Complete three holes before, time, before it runs out. Here's how speed golf works at Balmy Dunes. Folks in the desert love seeing how fast it can play while staying hydrated only from water to carry along. But with this heat that we have going on, if you're out there too long, we've gotta pull you off the course for safety reasons. You've gotta prove you can get to the oasis fast enough. If not, practice rounds only. To get a feel for, for how we run at Balmy Dunes, why don't you take a small water bottle and play three holes for starters? Did I hear that right? You need a water bottle for some practice? Here, I got you. You got a mini water bottle. That bottle is just the right size for three holes, but if you run out, it's game over, so keep an eye on it. Okay, let's go for it then. So this will be a little bit different. This one is definitely a whole lot more time focused than the other ones. There will be proper penalties for running out of time. The wind speed is 11 miles per hour and the downhill slope is three yards and our first hole. Our par is four, I think we got it. I like how the green looks around here. It's like a more subtle, dull green, I suppose. Your water will slowly deplete over time. If you run out of water, you'll pass out. Ready? Hmm. Right there, sounds good. We'll also have to be a little bit careful of the pokies. Boom, we're gonna send that flying. So our water is 49%. It looks like running doesn't deplete my water any more or less, so that's sort of good. One more sprint. Sprinting all over the place. Very good. I wonder. Oh, that was actually sort of a mistake. It might hit the pokey. Oh, it didn't. Oh, no, it did. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, he is all over the place now. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's fine. And there's some wind, so I think doing a little bit of this should be fine. Whoa. Is that a sand blarg over there? Looks like it. Well, this is actually quite, quite weird, but I think that'd be good. Almost, almost. Our par was four. We do it in five. Not the best. Oh, that's a bogey. It's okay though. We do lose some water. We're down to 40%. I don't know what our goal is. What do you get on these other shots? Oh, we could potentially get a hole in one here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Nice shot. Oh wow, that cut really loud. 
That cut super low. I was not expecting that. It's fine. I probably should have picked up that one. It's fine. Yeah, Paris 3 for this. It's gonna go straight towards that. Not quite enough to get it in, but this will be fine. I think, I hope. We're fine, we got it. There we go, that one was par. I haven't used a special shot yet. Maybe I can do that on this one, because we just unlocked special shots in the last episode. Because our meter was full, you could see it. Hole three. Our par is four. Ready? I wonder how it works though. Do I get to hit it farther? I'm not really sure. And now what's the distance? It seems to be just as far. Maybe it's a little bit farther. Yay! All right, we're sending it flying, ready? Yay! Boom! Once again, it cuts really low. Maybe I'm using the wrong, the wrong one, I really don't know. Okay, let's not get too far off. There we go. Okay, that was actually great. Let's try that, boom. Gonna go straight for it. That'd be amazing if that got in there. Ooh, close, so close. Okay, moved a little bit too far. Thank you. This one does scare me a little bit, but I think we wanna be right about there. Oh, so we weren't able to beat out par this time. That's what I was really hoping for. Couldn't do it. So I got a bogey and two pars. I don't know if that means I pass or not. But I still have, you know, some water left over. Nice. Oh, is that the last shot or is there more? No, I think that's it. Okay, very cool. We got 600 coins for that as well, which is nice because we're saving up for that gear. Almost the level up. So what's going on next? Hopefully they were happy with their results. Hey, you did it. Nice work managing your water supply. You're ready for nine holes. Just visit the front desk when you feel like giving it a try. Well, now seems like a good time to me. Hey guys. You finished your practice round, which means you're ready for nine holes of speed golf training. Wanna give it a shot? Yeah. You're all set. We, all, we tee off at dawn. It's way too hot later in the night. Feel free to rest up in the lounge until it's time to play. Where's the lounge? I guess over here. Rest until dawn? Yeah. <laughs> How relaxing. It's tea time, Zebra. Oh wow. Looks much cooler in the dawn as well. Around here, speed golf training involves completing nine holes before you run out of water. No refills are allowed. If you run out of water, that's the end of your round, so keep a close eye on it. Of course, a member of our staff will always be close at hand if you run into trouble. You'll be safe. But there's nothing worse than running out of water partway through a great round, so do your best to manage your water carefully. I think that's it. Go ahead and make your way to the tee. All right, let's go for it. So yeah, last episode, or the last area was XC Golf. This time it's speed golf. Love how each area has its own thing going on. So this time we have to do nine. Oh, we are going against other other golfers this time as well. So for this first one, we're just gonna send it. They're gonna do the same, of course. I love this area just being on a dash here like that. A little bit more. Okay, so this time I won't mess this up. I hope. Didn't really get the rotation I wanted off of it. But it's gonna land in a pretty nice spot. I do need to remember to collect coins. I wanna get that super shot. But for right now, we're focused on just... Hitting part. That might not be strong enough. Oh, it was actually strong enough, but it was just not far over enough. 
There we go. So as you can see, we got it before everybody else, but still the same time. Only use 7% of my water. So that's sort of the thing. It's not about running fast. Like running doesn't use up your energy. It's more time. So the sooner you can put it, the more water you'll have. So as long as we don't use more than 10% of our water per shot, we'll be fine. And it's just against Toad. Ready? So this one still has hole in one potential. See the problem though, it's low trajectory shots that bounce out of bunkers. I don't think I want this one. That might be better for me. It definitely is. The last one was a bit of a mistake. Oh, this one was also a mistake because it just didn't go as far as I thought it would. Okay, that's fine though. Our par is three, so as long as I can get it, ooh, close. That's actually really not good though. I don't know what Toad ended up doing there. Uh, I was hoping for the shot of a lifetime. Then that's enough, please. Yeah, there it is. It's a bogey, that stinks, but it could have been worse. What did Toad do? Oh, so it doesn't matter. It is about time then. Okay, I was wrong. Ready? Okay, so last time I did the super shots on this way, I don't think that's a bad idea here. And boom. I can definitely beat Toad with this one now. That's where these hearts are super duper useful. And mine did go a fair amount farther. I think right there is exactly what we're looking for. Once again, I just hope that it lands in there. Ah, oh, it doesn't. One of these days, I'm gonna get the most amazing shot. And it'll all be there to see it. Oh, that was so good. But not quite then. But that's gonna get us our par again, and we're definitely beating Toad out in time. I wonder if being above par just adds to your time more as a penalty. I mean, obviously, the more shots you need to take, the slower it's gonna go, so maybe it doesn't even matter. But as you can see, our time total is almost a minute better than Toad's. That's good. Now, these are the holes we haven't seen yet. Ready? That did not quite go the direction I wanted it to. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I didn't mean to fall off the edge. Out of the way, Toad. I got places to be. But this is definitely where an advantage would be made if we knock people out of the way, like Charger and Chuck was in our one tourney. I think right about there is good. Grab these coins, that way we can earn up our special and that almost rolled right into the sand dune. But that's just sort of to be expected in this area, I think. I think right there would be fine. Because our par is five for this one. If we could get a good cleanup shot here. Ah, uh, darn, look at how close that was. That would have bounced like right in. So Toad did beat me with this one, and it was also a bogey for me. Ah. But hey, we still had a time advantage on him, so I think we'll be able to keep that, because we're only a couple seconds behind him there. Actually, no, we have the higher time now. So definitely hitting above par must mess with the time, because it said it took four minutes there when it definitely didn't. Ready? Maybe knocking it over this way would be better. Yeah, right there. 
After we hit this, we are just gonna move as fast as we can. Toad is doing his triple jumps. Very impressive. Sounds like my ball is also hitting some coins while I'm picking some up. Ooh, got it. Now this is tricky, as you can see. Well, I don't have to go too crazy with it because there's also a wind in the opposite direction. I don't know how that's gonna end up landing. Really not that bad. Well, I say that, but then I kept rolling. Oh no, it's in the bunker. Darn. Things are going so good there. Okay, well, at the least we can make par. Nice. I hope. Excuse me, Toad. Okay, so I beat Toad by just a single moment there. <laughs> So I think that mean we're just about tied, right? I am back in the lead by just such a small increment. That guy is huge, by the way. Ready? So there is some wind to the right. I think that'd be fine. Nice shot. Remember, it cuts so low. Maybe I should have done the extra spin there. We're fine, we're fine. No, I didn't get the, oh, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. I ran right over the ball. I don't know what Toad's doing with that one. Gotta be honest with you, buddy. Beautiful shot, though. We got it in two. That's what I'm talking about. Wonderful birdie. All right, so our approaches are better. I'm just standing here. Okay, getting on the 61%, that's fine. Now I've gotten the lead again. We're more than a minute ahead. Hole seven. Ready? There is some wind. Let's see, if I could get it onto this patch, that'd be huge. Maybe could have hit it a little bit farther. Let's see where that ends up landing. I can pick up more coins so that we can get closer to our next one. Yeah, that did not go at all where I was hoping. I guess if it lands in the, oh man, it was a penalty area. It doesn't really tell you that's a penalty area. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna work. That might have been a really bad idea. Ah, that's not good. How do I get out of here? Oh, like that. Go, go, go. Excuse me. There we go. So it wasn't too bad after all. But I'm definitely not meeting Park with this one. Well, I say that, it's still possible. Not with a shot like that. All right, it'll be a uh, bogey. That is, if I make the shot. Oh, that is way off. A bit concerning. Double bogey. But how is Toad gonna do? I don't know yet. It doesn't really tell me. So I'm still doing better than Toad. Somehow, someway, we're making it work. Okay, hole eight. Ready? I think I want it over here. If I wanna do that, I gotta be careful. That's a really high mountain. Might be better just to... This is actually really risky, and I don't know if it was a good idea. I mean, it's spinning, so maybe it was a good shot. A good idea. Yeah, we're fine. It's still rolling now. I'm a little nervous. Okay, our golfing prowess is showing. That's 155 yards right there. There's a bit of a... Ooh. Let's try something like that, then. No, that that did not at all go where I thought it would. I don't know why that one cut so low. We got a pretty lucky bounce off of it. So it definitely could have been worse. Oh my gosh, it was close to disastrous. Think right about there. Ooh, oh my goodness. If that got in, wow, would have been great. 
Oh, that would have been really bad if that didn't get in though. So in one minute and four seconds, we got that one. I think we're still ahead of Toad. No, well, yeah, yeah, okay. For a second, I misread that. I thought he was 24, 26. So we're fine. As long as I can score well here, or at least match what Toad is doing, I win. Ready? As ready as I'm gonna be. You gotta do it through the little Moai heads, right? The problem is, even if I do, I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. Go big or go home, as they say. Oh, it went through. It went straight through. Only problem is I'm a bit out of stamina here. But what he did in two shots, I may have just done in one. The problem is actually getting over there. Whoa, these are falling, oh my goodness. There we are, there we are. Okay, that certainly could have been worse looking at it now. Okay, it's gonna be out of the, the dirt, the sand. I think that's all we can ask for for this. So I don't know, I might have ended up paying for it in the end. Let's hope that's good. I don't know, that's cutting really low. I feel like this club has gotten me into more trouble than it's gotten me out of. But once again, I'm getting supremely lucky. Throw is in those triple jumps. Oh my gosh, did I just get in? Wow, wow, look at how close that was. That was really cool. Okay, and I got par. I can't believe it with how everything happened in that. And we still have 33% of our water. Staying hydrated. Just barely got it. As you can see, nine seconds better than Toad. So that was really scary, really close, but we got it. So all we need. And we're level 36 and level 37, 38 as well. Wow, that was a bunch of levels. I am going to up my power just a bit, up my speed, up my control. So we're all still pretty balanced out here. Okay, major progress being made. Whoa, who are all these guys? You finished the Balmy Dunes front nine in this heat? You're amazing. Yeah, golfing here is no joke. Ask me how I know that, staying hydrated is important. <laughs> Cause he's dry bones. I've never been able to finish the first nine holes. You're another on another level. It takes guts to even start a round in this heat, let alone finish. You're a legend. Ugh, can we stop talking about the heat now? It's making me even more uncomfortable. I know I should have worn my short sleeve suit. <laughs> anyway, yeah, congrats again. But I don't think even you can play the back nine right now. It's just totally impassable. Go talk to Toad at the front desk for more info and bring me an ice water, would you? <laughs> okay, well, we got our first nine done. Those back nine, though. Seem to be notoriously difficult. We'll ask some people about it. Maybe we can figure something out. A trail between holes 14 and 15 leads to the north road. That's as far as you can go right now. The heat's not too bad if you can find some shade, like I have. And we're at a higher elevation here, so it's cooler than other parts of the course. Huh, that's interesting. I thought that typically heat would rise, so being up higher wouldn't really change much. Hmm. If you're ever able to play the back nine, you're in for a treat. The 15th hole is a super tough par, but the view is just awesome. Okay. Did you hear? Water has totally overrun the north road. Yeah, I guess there's a huge rock damming up the water somewhere. The poor 15th green, it's totally underwater right now. Oh, well, there's a couple more people around here. The back nine is on the north side of the course and winds through cooler uplands. It's lovely, but we can't get over there right now. You can't cross over the 15th green right now. I used to, to road the head, I used the road to head back, but it's annoying. I hope that water gets sorted out soon. Ugh, I wish I could play the back nine right now. Maybe I could just XE golf it like they do at Ridge Rock. If I played the front nine backwards, I could make it. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I know that's against the rules. They're pretty strict here. Guess they don't want folks getting stuck without water. If the designer of this course saw what they do at Ridge Rock Lake, 
It'll have a meltdown for sure. <laughs> you just finished the front nine? Must have been a scorcher. Here, how about some sherbet? It'll chill you right out. Good luck for the rest of the way. Oh, thank you. All right. Let's go and talk to this guy now. Hey, buddy. Registration is open for the back nine, but you can't get past the 14th hole right now due to all the flooding. It's a real shame, as 15, hole 15 features this course's signature view. If you wanna get some practice in, registration is open for speed golf. It's in the Rocky Mountains, which aren't as hot as the front nine, but there's still a time limit. Wanna give it a shot? For right now, I wanna talk to everybody and then we'll go for it. Your call, I wish we were open for the 14th hole, but let me know if you change your mind. Hello. You come to speak to me about golf, perhaps, but would you like to hear something more interesting? Of course. That's the spirit I thought you might be the curious type. Well, the truth is, I'm what you might call a treasure hunter. I don't play golf, never have. What I seek is a bigger rush than even a hole in one. You could join us, you know, I'm not the only one. I've seen another fellow snooping around these sands, probably after the same thing I am. Funny guy he was, funny name too, he called himself Wario. Huh, so hopefully we can run into Wario soon, that'd be cool. If you're playing the back nine, there's a trail you can take from the 15th hole. You can head back there on the same trail. Everyone keeps asking, so I'm giving directions. Golf courses often have cool names for signature holes, sections, features, and so on. Here at Balmy Dunes, holes 13 through 15 are affectionately known as the treasure corner. Quite, a gold, quite the gold standard, eh? I don't know what it means, but it sounds good, right? All right. And uh, what is this say? Pro shop, oh cool. Hey buddy, welcome Zebra, anything you wanna buy? So for right now, I wanted to buy the reducing water loss. Yep, uh, the cool attire. We also have the banana fade driver. Curve shots to the right if playing right-handed or to the left if playing left-handed. Might as well buy that for 600 coins, pretty affordable, but that's all we can afford right now. And uh, oh no, I guess I've fallen off, I can't get back up. That's a little weird. We'll talk to these two and then we'll be good to move forward. Hey, so have you heard about Treasure Corner? Ah, scene so of the legend. May you find great fortune. Well, actually, what is Treasure Corner? It said that a legendary treasure sleeps in the sands of Balmy Dunes. Tall tales know no bounds, but this is the real deal. If you gaze upon the desert from afar, you'll see it sparkling. But go looking for it and you won't find a thing. Curious, isn't it? So maybe it's some kind of mirage. Have you heard about the legendary holes of Balmy Dunes? There's a stretch of three holes that's been called Treasure Corner for as long as anyone can remember. So hopefully we can find this treasure, that'd be awesome. Can I talk to the Pokey? Hey buddy. No. That'd be cool, but I cannot. Hello. The back nine runs through some pretty treacherous territory. If you don't want to chase your ball off the side of a cliff, you'll need to hit accurate shots. I recommend taking a five wood and a seven iron. Both clubs can hit Accurate shots that still carry pretty far. Five wood, seven iron. All right. Um, five wood is here. Highly susceptible to wind. I don't know if I want that. So maybe we'll just do the normal five wood. And then maybe I don't need that driver. I won't be able to hit it as far, but that's okay but it generates top spin. This honestly, I feel like has been getting me out of more, into more trouble than it's been getting me out of. We'll just try that. What was the other thing? Five wood, seven iron, okay. So right now we have a nine iron equipped, the standard nine iron. Let's try the seven iron. Hit shots for that are less susceptible to win, but harder to control. Sure. And we'll get our cool tire on. And now we can talk to you. If you want to get some practice in registration, open for speed golf. It's in the Rocky Mountains, which aren't as hot as the front nine, but still, there's still a time limit. Want to give it a shot? Yeah. Registration is all set. Head to the gate when ready. Okay, so let's get started. Verifying badge, bronze confirmed. Speed golf, registration confirmed. Each set of three holes has a time limit. If you run out of time, it's game over, so keep an eye on the clock. So just like last time, gotta be really careful with the time. But as long as we're speedy, we'll be okay. 
But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun at Balmy Dunes so far. It's been an interesting place. Usually desert areas in Mario games have not been my favorite. But so far this has been pretty cool. I like the course layout, the whole sort of scheme with everything. This challenge has a time limit for each set of three holes. If time runs out, you will fail the challenge. Ready? Okay, for the, so the par for this one is four. There's a wind to the left. Hmm. See, my goal would be to hit it here. I don't know if I needed that to the left as much as I did. It's flying. Well, it's gonna land where it lands. I'm just gonna run over now. Oh, a little bit outside the range I wanted. What's he done? It might hit that Lakitu. <laughs> This this course is already a little tough. I've maybe made some bad decisions. Oh, yeah. Where exactly is it? How do I get it out of here? Oh, no. I've maybe made a horrible, awful mistake. I might just have to restart this. Yeah, I don't see how I could get out. There's no way. It's stuck back here. Let's go ahead. I'll give it one more shot just to get out of there. There we go. No! All right, I messed up, I messed up. How do I quit and redo? Restart from first hole, yep. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. That's okay, but that's what the practice rounds are for. We can learn a little bit from all this. Because all I wanted was it to land here. I think that's fine. Nice shot. It should land where I want it, but I really don't know at this point. There's a lot of factors that seem to go wrong. I think the problem is I'm, I'm putting too much topspin on it, but it's still landed in the green. So we're fine. The only problem is, is it really worth it when I have to do this? We're gonna find out. Oh, that's a very spinny ball. Ah, uh, whoa, whoa, almost so. That was almost a crazy shot, but now it's way down there again. This is the time to experiment with this though. In these practice shots, if we can learn something really crazy cool like that, it'd be awesome. Ready? So for this one, I can do fairly normal. Let's not do the top spin. Just a standard spin. And that direction should be plumb. Okay. Yeah, and that's right about where I wanted that. So our goal with this one is to hit it like this. And hope that's good. Ooh. Oh yeah, wow. Okay, I think we're getting better at this. That is wonderful. Now this is still a bit tricky. I think we want about there. Still like wasn't enough to the right. That should be fair enough, please. There it is, so we reached par with that, but there is clearly some potential for much more than par. Okay. So hole 11, looking a little interesting. I like how this is actually down. There's some wind to the northwest, if, assuming we're facing north. I have no idea if there's a way to check. I don't know if the, the top spin was necessary there. We'll find out. I gotta say, it's been a lot of fun learning more about golf with all this. I've re really, that was not fair. I've really not known too much about golf before. I've never played it. Nice, huh? I haven't really watched it. I haven't played any golfing games. This has been a lot of fun. I think there. Oh, close. Okay, that's a straight shot in. Never mind. So we met. No, that was not met part. That was a bogey. But time wise, I think we're doing fine. 
yeah, it should be okay. It is weird that last time we were competing against Toad, but this time we're not really competing about against anybody, it's just ourselves. So here's hole 12. I think this is the last one we're doing for right now, and this is definitely where we'll use our super shot. It still might not land where I want it to, but we're gonna try for it. Once again, this is a time to practice. Uh, ooh, did it though? It's hard to tell from here. Might as well just run over. I think it did. That's miraculous. Wow. Can I just jump up this? This maybe wasn't the brightest idea. No, we're fine. Wow, would you look at that? It sort of just flies over and plops down. Pretty useful, actually. So now that we're up here, right about there. And let's see how that works for us. I hope it doesn't fall. Oh, it fell. It fell all right. How do I get it out of this? How do I always manage this? I wish there was more of a way to like undo my shot. I don't believe there is a way. See, how am I getting out of here? I don't, I don't really know. Hold on. How do I change my club? There it is. I guess my best bet would be to get it up here. But I don't know if that's gonna work. Nope. That's the crazy part about this, is that when you get it stuck, you're sorta done for. Am I gonna have to do the whole challenge over? I'd imagine I do. Oh, that did get up there. Okay, that's something, oh my gosh. Camera's all messed up too. <laughs> now getting up here is such a problem. How do I get up there? <laughs> this has been the awkward part about this area so far that I'm not too ha super happy about. I'm properly stuck. Maybe I can get around this way? We're definitely hitting above par though. Don't fall off, okay. I might just be better off restarting the whole thing then. A lesson learned, if you try to go for risky stuff, you get stuck in the semantics of it all. It's weird. So this time I'm just going to hit it this way. And then we'll do the super shot from that spot, I think. There's a lot of risks here. It went a little to the left there, but I don't, oh my. Don't think that's too bad. I gotta stop looking while I'm running because then you walk right off a cliff and that's really not good. Okay, uh, just gonna keep running. I would like to grab this so that I can dash up this way. Ready, set, go. It's actually landed in a pretty nice spot if you ask me. Boom. So this is where we do the super shot. I still don't know if it's enough. We'll do it like this. And hope for the best. Please do. Oh my gosh. No. I don't know how that's landing right now. No, I got it. I can't believe it. Wow. What a wonderful shot then. Would you look at that. Super shots just work in a different way entirely. It's wild. I don't know if that's gonna go the way I want it to, especially with the wind. But I got it close. We could get a birdie here nice if we get this good little stroke. Birdie. Right about there. Ah, oh, come on, could have gotten a birdie. We're just gonna get part. That's fine now. And we're in. Nice All right. Looking good. So we got par on all that. And we got nine minutes. Nice. So we succeeded. That's all we need, really. I'll gladly take it. So this is our, oh, there are actually four holes. 
This isn't the practice. Yeah, I don't know why I keep thinking this is the practice. This is just it. Ready? So hole 13 now. Looking a little tricky. I think right there is where I want it. And we'll go for a bit of spin. Nice shot. Map ball, it's flying. These bridges are really cool. Not quite wet landing where I wanted it to though. <laughs> Can I get a do over on this one shot, please? That's certainly gonna mess my par up, isn't it? Could I just need to give it a little nudge, a little a little boop? If that was not helpful, in the slightest. Okay, let's try that. No way. <laughs> That's not at all what I wanted. Okay, let's get the most amazing shot of a lifetime here. The wind's pushing it that way. There's a bit of a curvature. Maybe I didn't need the extra roll. Oh, so close, so close. So it will be, depending if I get an in here. Come on, please. Ah, oh, you can't just throw me a bone for this one. It'll be a double bogey. Not looking good. Double bogey. So hole 14, maybe it'll go a little bit better. If we could get a birdie in this one, I'd be pleased. And for this, I think that's enough. That's good enough. Okay, grab some extra coins so we're closer to our next super shot. But that was really all I needed. There's some crosswind over this way. I got the top spin shot. Actually landing a lot shorter than I was expecting it to. Please don't roll backwards. No, it's good, it's fine. This is where things get tricky. I don't know if the top spin was necessary here. Ah, darn. We'll hit par. At least I believe we will. That might've been too light. Oh, we got it in. That's what I'm talking about. So we hit par. We're at a plus two score. Oh, that was it. Okay. So I guess we succeeded. Um, I want more power. Want as much power as possible. Oh, there's that flooded area everyone keeps talking about. Come on, let's take a closer look. This is fascinating. Something about a treasure out here. Wario's been scurrying around, trying to find some extra gold coins. Wow, so this must be why the oasis on the front line is dried up. I wonder, if we could somehow break through that rock that's blocking the water, could we fix this? Your tee shots have gotten pretty powerful. Why don't you give it a try? Even if it doesn't work, it'll be fun to see what happens. Oh. Oh. So we learned this last episode. We've been using it to knock the bar really far and I didn't even get to do it. The game just says it for you. Boom! Hey! Hey there, over here! Hey, pal, did you just break that giant rock with a driver shot? That's the wildest thing I've ever seen and I'm a pro golf instructor. I mean, I've seen some powerful shots in my day, but that takes a cake and smashes it into a billion pieces, just like that rock. You're a force of nature, pal. Wish I could use energy like that. Anyway, now that the water is flowing, things can get back to normal. Everyone back at Balmy Dunes is gonna be thrilled. We can open the road again and everything. I gotta go tell them. That was great, Zebra. Now everyone can play Balmy Dunes the way it was intended. I gotta go spread the word that all 18 holes are back open. Launch green. So yeah, I guess we saved the day with this one. The course is finally back to normal thanks to you, Zebra. Everyone here is so happy. You'll always be our favorite golfer. I've got an update for you on the competition situation here at Balmy Dunes. It's good news. We still can't allow players to play at players to play a regular tournament. The heat would be too much for folks who aren't acclimated already. 
players like you who have already shown they can handle speed golf out here are eligible for an 18 goal or 18 hole speed golf challenge. <laughs> We're calling it the Speed Golf Badge Qualifier. Finish under the time limit and you'll get your silver badge. Registration is open now. Okay, so I guess we'll go and do that now. All right, so let's talk to this guy. Now that the road is open, getting to the far side of the course is no problem. Awesome, there's tons of people to talk to. I don't know if we really need to too much. Even I was even I was getting dehydrated, so you know that water situation was bad. Thank goodness someone got rid of that rock. And look at this, it's all filled with water now. Cool, much better. So I mostly just wanna to talk to these two. A sandwich is a must for when you land in a sand trap. The course is also quite long, so you'll want some clubs that offer good distance, a driver, a dr like a driver through it and four hybrid. Okay. Do I have a five wood right now? And anything else around here? Maybe instead of the five wood. Let's try the three wood that the guy gave us. I think he said four hybrid. I mean, it was five hybrid. I think that's fine then. And what about the shop? The pro shop? Is that this guy? Yeah. yeah. I've purchased everything there as a purchase. Okay, we're doing great then. Did my associate already tell you the news? We're now able to offer 18 holes of speed golf as a badge qualifier for you. You'll have a time limit on each set of three holes, just like before. If you don't complete all three holes before the time runs out, you'll be disqualified. Are you ready to give it a try? Sure. Your registration is all set. Head over to the gate when you're ready. So one thing I'm curious about, is there gonna be more training around here? Hmm. Cause that's, oh, you know what? I think right over here. Practice area ad. I do wanna peek my head in and see if there's any extra practice we could do. How many challenges might be waiting around? There are a couple. But I feel like at this point, I know we're gonna have to talk to that guy probably after we do the qualifier. We should probably save it all for when we're done with this. And then we will uh, be done with all that. I, I just sort of want to get this whole area done in one video. I think that might just be a better way to pace it, even if it does take us a little bit longer for each episode. Don't know how many areas there'll be in the game. Verifying badge, bronze confirmed. Speed golf badge qualifier, registration complete. Complete each set of three holes before time runs out. Each time you take a shot, you'll use up 30 seconds. If you don't complete all three holes before time runs out, you'll be disqualified. Yo, I've been waiting for you, Zebra. Oh, got charged your shock. I hear you're aiming for a silver badge. It's hard to believe we were just at Ridge Rock Lake. When I got to town, all I kept hearing about was you busting up some huge rock and saving an oasis. You're a legend around here. We all started off as rookies, but you've lost us in the dust. How utterly disappointing. I'm thinking about hanging out here for a while and getting good at speed golf. Point me towards the nearest squat rack. The golf association said we should train with someone who knows what they're doing. Hope you're up for it. All right, well, I guess these guys are tagging along. Oh, come on now. Listen, we know you're the, the real deal. You're a beast. Just give us a chance, okay? Chuck is right. He knows it when he sees it. You are a beast. Let's hit the course and get some training in. Train today, crush the competition tomorrow. I'm gonna be so ready for a real match. Okay. So they're just training, but we're going for the badge. And that's sort of funny. You know, I'm more than willing to help them train but I do remember them talking about how we weren't even a competition to them. That it was really between those three. But here we are. I don't know where Toadette is. So hole one. So this is gonna be a lot of golfing. Putting together everything we've learned today. First one, gonna just absolutely send it flying. Pick up some coins along the way. The sooner we can get this upgrade, I think the better, or not upgrade, but superpower. Oh, that actually went too far. We went so much farther than the Chuck, though. And Chuck's known for hitting it far. So it is technically in the rough here, which is a shame. I don't know if I need to spin that much. It's gonna hit the Loki, or the Pokey, <laughs> whatever it is. So that's sort of a big problem. It's still rolling, though. 
I think that'll be fine. We should be able to at least hit par. I thought the wind would factor a little bit more into that. And it did. Oh no! Okay, we're actually sort of getting off to a bad start. I don't know if I should just restart it, because I got a buff. Oh. We got a bogey. That's fine though, you know what? We'll keep going. Because our timing is fine, I think. How are they doing? Okay, Chuck did a, a, just, just about the same. He did 10 seconds worse. And Boo, way behind, 416. So as long as we beat these two, I think we're technically good to go. I don't know if that's the point or not. Ready? Let's we'll try for it. Just a win that way. Now this one, yeah, that one hits it really low. What in the world is that? He just threw the golf ball like a football. That's not fair. <laughs> that's not how you play golf, Chuck. Wait, did he get a hole in one with that? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, well, I definitely sent it too far with that. He almost got in there with his second stroke there, though. Oh, that almost didn't make it. So we got part of this time. That's at least good. And we're gonna keep moving. Ready? Now, I don't wanna go too crazy with this. This right here would be great. Did it hit the tree? I think it hit the tree. I get the worst luck when I go, when I go risky. Oh no. Now I'm really considering restarting the whole thing. You know what? We're gonna turn this into advantage. We are going to go with the super shot now. I don't know how this will work. If this was a good idea whatsoever. That's what I want. We'll skim it across the water. <laughs> this might be an awful idea. We're about to find out. I don't know, with it being a super shot, I don't think the water skimming and super shots really blend well. Nice, huh? We got it on though. So if you ask me, the best recovery I could have hoped for. That's what we say the super shot for. He's just waiting for us. I think that'll be enough. Come on, please get in. Oh, you're kidding. Now it's gonna be par. It would have been a birdie. Darn. Okay. That's fine. Because the timing is all that matters and we are still in the running for this. Chuck is a little bit farther ahead for right now. Okay. Hmm. Ready? Now what I remember from this one is I think there is good. Grab some coins. and right over this way. I think I would actually want this one. I don't know why it's offering the other one. I think this is just fine. Might actually want it all to the right. Actually, no, the, the danger zone's gonna do that for me. Oh, it actually got on the green with a bounce too. That was actually supremely long. Really at the same. Remember this wind to the left. I want to be a little light with it and hope that the top spin will get me. Wow, so close, so close. Nice, huh? But if we could get it in here. Charge and Chuck running at me at full speed like that, absolutely terrifying. Nice. But we got it in and that's gonna be a birdie for us. So we are starting the balancings out a little bit. 
while they are just making par. That is how we can inch our way back to victory. Yeah, I'm actually in the lead. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Ready? So I don't have the super shot for this one. We'll wanna make sure we grab some coins then. That's not really what I meant to do. <laughs> I didn't mean to hold forward there. I was just preemptively trying to get ready to run. But it's fine. It's not gonna go as far as Chucks, I don't think, because of that. But it's going far enough. Actually, it did go farther than the Chucks. Nice. So I think about there. Seems like it might come up short. But I actually think that's fine. Because of the wind, because I had the top spin. It's pretty close. That was only my second stroke, remember? So if I can just, oh my. <laughs> Run full speed past it. What in the world is that? I don't know, but it's scaring me. Oh, I think it's Boo's shot. Ah! I didn't know he could do that. That's not fair. Oh my goodness, he knocked all the coins out of me. That was rude. Would have led to head up, heads up. What is going on? My ball's haunted. That was so weird. That ruined me. I didn't know it was a thing that could happen. There we go. I mean, I still got par, but that was weird. Now I know. Luckily, we're still in the lead after all that. Hole six. This is one where you have potential for a hole in one. Oh no, but I'm using the wrong one. Oh, that really messed me up. We're on the green now. Actually going past the green. We're fine. If you say so. Could have gone farther than that. Oh, but it's actually. Pretty close, just gotta tap it in. Nice car. So we got par. As long as we can keep with par, we should be able to keep ahead of their time. For the most part. <laughs> Definitely out of chucks. So I gotta be careful of their special moves because they can destroy me. But for right now, we have a comfortable lead. Nice. Over a minute ahead of one of them Almost two minutes out of the other one. Hole seven. Ready? I'm also sending a super shot, so be ready for it, buddy. Ooh, and go! And definitely grab as many coins as I can along the way. So that hopefully I don't uh, have to wait too long until we get another super. That was too far. That was really silly of me, actually. More time is sort of the, the whole goal of everything. I wanna try, I don't know if that was the best move, but it's actually curving pretty close to what I wanted. It's actually, no, it was starting at first, but. That was only my second stroke. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Come on, this is it. Can't take too long, this is all about time. And we got it in. So it was a par again. <laughs> Seen a lot of those but our time is good. Yeah, we are now, oh, so close to two minutes ahead of Charging Chuck. A full minute ahead of Boo, though. Ready? So last time I tried this way, I don't trust I can get it. I don't know if this is worth the risk. 
but that's what we'd want to do. Oh, we're good, we're fine. That's really satisfying. Being able to pull something like that off makes me feel like we're getting better at this game. I certainly want something like that. I think I need to stop doing topspin as often as I do. I do topspin almost every time. There's a lot of times it rolls too far. Let's see if it rolls too far this time. It did. Nice. <laughs> All right, thank you. Ah, oh, darn. Look at how close that was. I think I can hit this one straight on. There it is. So we got par. Almost got a bogey, but par is good. Yep, that's fine with me. Ready? Now this one, oh yeah, I do remember this. Gotta hit right between these things. Let's hope that's a good idea. Last time, it sort of went bad. But I have a good feeling this time. Oh, I don't know if it's on the rough. It's in the bunker, no! Just barely, though. That's technically the bunker, but come on. Got it. So I don't want to go too crazy with this one, I think. Just doing that would be fine enough. And it's still, still rolling. Please don't get in the rough. Nice. We're good, we're on the fairway. Once again, I don't know if the top spin was a good idea. It's cutting way lower than I expected. Oh my goodness, no. It's in the waste area. That's okay, we still have, oh my, some room. As long as I can make it work in two strokes. That was actually pretty good. Yeah. That's about as good as I could ask for for that situation. So we hit par again. Toad, or not Toad, Boo's time was a little bit better, but we had a minute lead on him. So we're fine. Nice. It actually looks like Chuck and Boo sort of cut up. Chuck might have actually beat Boo in the end. We'll see. So that was it, that was everything. No, it wasn't, okay. I thought that was all of them. It's not mine, It's I think it's the full 18. All right, hole 10. I don't know if this is gonna be high enough in the air. No, it's fine. So the problem with this one is we need a really good curve shot to follow that. I'm a little worried. But in practice it worked. But I sent it too far again. I gotta stop with the, with the spins. It could have been worse. It could have been way worse, given this scenario. That's it. Oh, it's almost rolling right back onto it, but it's on the fairway. Okay, this is a little awkward. I don't know if it can get up from here. They're certainly get ahead, getting ahead of me right now. For a second, I thought he was hitting my ball. I was like, hey, mister, what do you think you're doing? I gotta stop the, I, now I'm doing out of habit. It's top spinning every time. Maybe this is the one time it'll work out. No. Oh, that actually might have been a big mistake. Yeah, I need it stronger than that. Okay, so it's a bogey, uh. but they all hit bogeys as well. So the times they're messing up, they're messing up too. They're catching up though. I don't have as much room to get ahead as I did before. Ready? So there's a decent little wind, but not too much to worry about. I'm just gonna do this no top spin. Nice shot. The announcer's complimenting us. But it, this is the one time I hoped I had this top spin. I was not as far as I was hoping. I think straight in is fine here. 
Yep, there it is. So we hit par. It's always these that I'm looking at and I'm like, ah, oh, we'll get this. This is a whole in one opportunity. And then we try, it just falls apart. There we go. So we're starting to get a lead again. We are actually officially two minutes ahead of Charge and Shock. Why well, say that? By three seconds. If we can beat him by three more seconds this time, we'll be two, two minutes out. That's a major time. So this is where we used, no, no, remember, I have to hit it here and then use that. All right. I thought we had already done this whole with these guys. So definitely do not be in that zone. Be very careful. Because it messes up your next shot super bad and I really don't want that right now. So, I want this one. You can see that wouldn't be enough, but this super shot would be, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know if it has that same curve when you do the super shot. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no, the danger zone. It didn't say it was gonna do that. That's the whole point of the super shot is to be safe from those kind of things. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Okay, I gotta make a plan here. We're gonna hit it up there. Obviously that's not gonna do anything for me. We want it up that way. Please get up there. Yes, all right. No, almost too far. No, wait, 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 don't roll that way. What are you doing, please stop, stop. No, I was just gonna keep going, not fair. Oh, we're way back, no. You know, sometimes golf isn't fair. No, change my club, please. How did I do this? There we go. Maybe I could just absolutely send it. I don't think so. I think I actually would really wanna be careful here. Or maybe we throw caution in the wind. It's already gone about enough, right? How much worse could it be? Inch is actually not too bad. <laughs> don't fall off. I remember I'm on a time limit. So they're also really having a hard time. He's on stroke seven, stroke six. It's not just me. I'm not alone here. Oh, come on. Sometimes I feel a little lied to with that. Nice. I said nice, though. So. Some kind of decent recovery. With the standard spin, that was way too far. Oh, come on. Game has been really cruel to me, this, this one. This hole. <sighs> All right, it's fine. It's fine. As you can see, we're at 39 for the eight. So we are a little behind Boo now. Nice. But that's okay. That's okay. This next one we'll get on. Hole 13. Par four. Ready? Right there is what we're looking for. I think that's good. Grabbing some extra coins on the way. Boo's trying to keep up with me. I'm not having it. Crazy that we just, we hit it farther than Charge and Chuck does. I think right there. Ooh. Yeah, that, that really, nice not too bad. Oh man, charging Chuck is, he's charging. 30. Come on, that's it, and that nice is gonna be a birdie. Day. But they got par, so that means we can start taking our advantage back. So as you can see, we're at 42.17. They are not. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I 
I don't think we've seen this one. No, maybe we did. I know there were some holes we didn't, yeah, we, we saw this one. Holes we didn't experience though. We didn't get the practice. I think that's good enough. I don't need to admire it too much. I just need to run. Use the screen, charge again. Got it. That really might not be far enough, now that I think about it. Yeah, definitely not. But that's okay, that's okay. Because, I can just grab that. If we got it in here, that would be a bogey. So close to getting it in. We're just gonna tap it in. You know it's a good shot if it lands in tapping. Right? That is a nice part. I'm actually happy with that one. Actually, boost time is much lower, 42.50. Or maybe it's because he's not finished yet. Yeah, I hadn't added on this new time. Gotcha. So we're winning. We're definitely in the lead. Oh, now this we hadn't seen. This is so cool looking. Ready? But also a bit daunting. I think right there is what we're looking for. Because from there's a pretty decent wind. Whoa, falling all the way down. Excuse me, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, actually, maybe a good thing I hit the wall there. But we hit it right into a dune. Hey, don't touch the cacti. That's gonna hurt. So let's get the most amazing dune shot. Because they actually got three and, I don't know, we'll see. That was a great recovery and it was almost in. That would have been so cool. Boo actually did a bokey here. And he's my main competition, that, so that is a bit scary. He's beating out Charger and Chuck right now. Nice. Okay. okay. Oh, there's actually interesting path to the right there. I don't know if that's worth it. Ready? This would be a great spot though for our super shot. If I could find a way to land it way over there. There we go, full power. And hope for the best. Is it gonna land where I want it to land? It's actually gonna go a bit farther. Or maybe not, it was a little bit of an illusion. Excuse me, boo, Ruth do that. So it more or less landed exactly where I was hoping it would. There we go. I'm a little worried about that shot. I don't think we, we hit it hard enough. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I think that's good enough. Ah, uh, a little bit too much to the left. I think we're good, I think we're fine. Yeah, and that'll be par. Nice stuff. Okay. So it's been a tough competition so far. There's still more to go. This is hole 17, so we have this one and one more after. And honestly, we have a lot of room here. I think we're fine with full spent sending it, getting that top spin. There we go. And I'm a little bit nervous about that one. It landed on the green. Actually, not that bad at all. Considering the shot we just made with that. Chuck basically did the same thing. 
<laughs> Way too far, hold on. This could be a bogey. Birdie. Or birdie, I mean. Come on, come on, yeah! There it is! Nice, sweet! So we got that birdie. Chuck did not. So we're a little bit farther ahead of him. And Boo really struggled. He's still trying it. One more time. There we go. So we are officially a minute ahead, both of them. By actually, we are almost three minutes ahead of Boo. Wow. This is very similar to what we just did, but a little bit different. Our final hole. Looking good. So I could hit it this way. Honestly, I think I want to. Not only because it's a more interesting shot, I can stay a little bit away from them if they try to do anything crazy. Throw a giant football at me. Oh, it's rolling now. That's actually fine. I say that, but I think that's what I want. I could have, you know, tilted it with the first half as well. I'm a little scared. That's sort of what's tough about this. We haven't, ow, practiced these shots before. It could have been worse. Looking at that now, it could have been way worse. Okay, so we just need to jump through this. That's it. And get it on the there. There is some wind in the opposite direction, so I'm hoping that'll just sort of, wow. It didn't roll in, of course, but. I don't know if that's gonna make it, it is! Wow, there we did it! Nice. All right, we hit the birdie on the final hole with plenty of time ahead of them already. Well, I say that, Chuck hasn't finished his. So we'll see what kind of time that adds for him. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> he had a straight shot. Okay. So that looks really good. We won. Nice. So there's all 18 holes done in the Balmy Dunes against Charger and Chuck and Boo. Your badge approved from bronze to silver, and you won a thousand coins. Okay, indeed, we're level 40, 41, 42, 43. Your special dash improved. That's good to see. So um, I'll let the power to over 200 yards now, up our stamina and then up our speed and our spin. Our stats are getting really refined at this point, which is awesome. So, as you can see, absolutely wonderful play, Zebra. You really tamed this wild course. I watched every hole. And with that performance on the books, I'm happy to report that you've earned a, your silver badge. This will open up new doors for you. Speaking of which, you're now cleared to play at Wild Weather Woods, which has a reputation as a challenging course. I can't wait to see how you do. So that's something we'll tackle next episode. Really excited to get into it. But we do have some extra time today to check out the uh, other things around here in uh, Balmy Dunes mostly the challenges and stuff. I do want to talk to this guy first. I figured there'd be something with him, but I guess not. This is Master Duff. Who seeks Master Duff? Do not answer, for it is not important. All that matters is Duff itself. Finding one's flow within the Duff and becoming at peace with the Duff. I hope this has been helpful. Goodbye. Not really, gotta be honest, but I will keep it in mind. Approaching the green from out of a bunker is mostly about distance control. Feel like a sand shot, Laza? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and take a few approach shots out of a bunker. Yeah. This bunker is close to the green, so pick up your sand wedge, aim for the cup, and go for a high score. I'll do my best. So yeah, we got some more detailed stuff now. We'll do right there. I don't know if I need the extra roll. Luckily, it bounced off the flagpole. So do that again without the, the top spin. That should be good. 
Ooh, got it in. I think it's about the same. No, I don't need to do that. Hold on, can I cancel? <laughs> that would be a little ridiculous. Or that actually. Luckily bounce off the flagpole, but I gotta be careful with that. This feels even closer. Maybe with some backspin. Okay, plus nine. That should be good. Yeah, another plus sign. Oh no, 47 out of 48, but we got one more shot. Okay, we're fine. Let's do about there. Wow, would you look at that one? Nice. Okay, so we destroy that first try. We do that with all the challenges, won't take any time at all. I will get a decent little chunk of experience. I'm hoping that we can get maybe a level and a half out of doing all the challenges. That sounds about, about good. Uh, very nicely done, though I wonder if that lie might have been, might have made it too easy. Well, give me a shout anytime if you want some more practice. Will do. Careful, using a fairway wood will send the ball at a low angle. That's why I caught the lip of the bunker. For bunker shots, your top priority is just making sure you get out. Focus on that before anything else. All right, already talked to him. Wish I could go out there and practice, that'd be fun. I mean, I guess that's what these are technically, but just like some free form practice would be cool. I'm looking for someone that knows how to tame super scary tee shot challenges. Want the job? All right, well, I'll be taking this job, get some extra experience for it. All right, you have 10 shots to get at least 80 points, good luck. There is 20 mile per hour winds. So I think right there would be appropriate. Not too bad. This time just go a little lighter and I think we'll be fine. So I think it was right about there. Let's see. That's it, we got it. So over time, you sort of just get a feel for it. Nice shot. Speaking of which, <laughs> that was a bad one. It happens. Nice that actually might not be far enough. Ooh, just barely, nice. Okay, let's see how that one goes. Now that one was not far enough, but still plus eight's good. We're trying to get 80 points though. Maybe it's not that great. This also is 20 mile an hour wind. I think there. Not at all. Wow. I guess I need to hit it much harder. Can I use a different club? I could. Maybe that'll make the difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm downing that one a little bit. Ugh, that was sort of what I wanted. Hold on, can I? I think right about there. I would hope would be good. Ah, oh, it's gonna roll out. So this one just went all kinds of wrong. It wants me to use this one though. I don't think that's right. Nice shot. Even that, that was way too hard, considering. I'm learning now, so that's good. I will try it with this one, since it defaults on this. And I can see what the benefit of, this, of that, but it's very risky getting it over those dunes. We failed, we got 45 points, we got more than half. With all the ones we missed, it's not too bad. Let's try again. So I'm gonna try this again. I did miss one shot before. A plus seven's fine, but honestly I'm getting better results with this, so I might as well try it again. And see how it goes. Okay, some adjustments need to be made, but still a plus eight isn't bad. I think about there, and we'll land it with a backspin. 
that's gonna be too far still. It's just really easy to do that. Better, I think. Yeah, we got plus nine for that. So I guess this is a 63. We're certainly doing better in terms of score. Let's give that a try. Ooh, plus 10, 73 out of 80. So if I could just not mess up that one shot, that would have been it. All right, let's go again. All right, so I got the score that time. Oh no, I would like to still try to land this. That's still, hold on. Then that should be good. I go like this. With 20 mile hour winds, you know? We'll get a plus eight, so nice. that's fine. Okay. okay, 92 points, 100 coins. More than that, we get a good chunk of experience. Is it enough for level up? Yes, it is. So we're now level 44, and I'll up my power. Yep, lock in those changes. Hey, hey. You, you are scary good. There, I said it. You have mastered fear. Come back if you want to do that again. All right, well, let's try this one. You want a putting challenge? Because I've got a putting challenge. So, are we on? Sure, putting challenges sound fine. It's on. I'm gonna give you nine shots to get at least 80 points. Bring it. This does look challenging. There is some wild elevation, re-elevation happening. Hmm. No win, though. I think that Okay, lesson learned, too strong. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, if I do a bit like that, maybe. The problem is that it ebbs and flows. So finding that sweet spot, once we find it though, seems fairly repeatable, unfortunately now. This change, so focus on this. That is such a turn to it. It's wild. I really want it like over there. Now this is a major putting challenge. I was so close. That was too far over. And now this one's pretty far uphill. I don't think that'll be enough. Whoa, that is a weird curve. So if I hit it like that again, oh darn. I'm not nowhere near the point requirement for this one. This one is just a lot of trial and error. Fair. Okay, that's fine, 25 points. Let's try again. Yep, 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 try again. So for this one we learned, we wanna be a little to the left. Be really light on this. I say light, but. Yeah, if we match the flag, a little to the left. Actually ends up being fine. There we go, and now we understand there's a repeatable spot we can do. I think getting nines repeatedly is still fine for the most part. Now this one was tricky. I think that we want to make it like there and about there. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is some really good stuff. Can I do it twice though? Wow. So I found that perfect lineup. It's about committing it to memory. I, I sort of matched up. You can see there's these little diamonds. There's a diamond right next to the flagpole that I'm lining it up with. And I can get in every time now. That's what it's all about. Now this one is still tricky to me. I think I want there and about there. Because where it gets weird, that was a little too strong, is that there's some extra I still think that's too strong. 
Darn, I now did that twice. So we could go maybe like halfway through the orange section. And hit it there. That's still about the same strength. I keep doing it! Oh my goodness. Okay, well I missed every single shot towards the end there, but it's just about trying and trying and trying until we find those sweet spots that we can repeat. Okay, so I think I found the sweet spot with this one is lining it up right with the left of the orange circle. And then hitting it so that there's like two checker boxes left over. Oh no! It was just barely off, darn. I got it perfect the other two times. Well, I just tried it before. So that's a bit of a problem, that was too strong. Ah, oh, darn, if I could just, I just have to do it all right. Like once you practice it, it's good to get repeatable, but these are so specific. You really gotta grind it out. There it is. Uh, I almost have it. I just gotta put it all together. This is my last shot. I've been trying to play it a bit safe and really master the first two holes so that if I mess up with this one, because it's the one I mess up the most with, I should be okay. There it is, 81 points. Nice. Oh my gosh. The hard part about this is just the slightest bit off, like the tiniest fraction of an amount off center or off strength and it will just not land on the circle at all. It's really difficult, but there we go. We got it done. That's gonna give us a full level up, which I'll use to improve, I guess, our spin. Let's give that a try. Okay, I do believe that there is still one more challenge left to tackle. Hey, hey. Wow, that didn't even phase you. Come back when you wanna show off some more, I guess. I mean, if you call it that, <laughs> I was really struggling with it. All right, last one. I'm fine tuning a new approach challenge and I need someone to test it on. Interested? Yeah, sure. So our last one, hopefully it's not too bad. Let's see how this goes. See if you can score at least 80 points in nine shots. Oh, and thanks. 80 points in nine shots. There's no wind. There is some sand though. Okay, we got eight points. But with how it works, unless you score a perfect 10 every other time, you can't miss a single shot like that. But it's fine, because this is our first try. We're just trying to learn what really is going on here. I think I went about there. There we go. Plus nine. So the ground is so curved there. It actually did not go as far as I was expecting. So I think I'll do same thing again. But this time have some top spin. And it went too far. I wish there was like a medium top spin. Because sometimes top spin spin is too much. So I guess it'd just be smarter just to let it go a little bit farther with a standard spin. And that gave it a plus nine. Then our last hole here. Seems to be a pretty straight shot. Well, I say that, but it's gonna curve to the left. Oh wow, that is really downhill. I'm starting to get it though. I think about there, maybe a too strong. No, I guess I was just too far to the right that time. Okay, I was fully expecting to fail that one. I just gotta go through it again, and once again, fine tune it until we get everything right. Well, I got it in that time. So I think it was about there and about here. Not as good this time, but still plus eight. Certainly not bad. Let's try that. Plus nine. So there we go, the first hole, actually not too bad. And I remember that that was about what we wanted. But yeah, plus nine. If I can just keep consistent from here on out, it would actually just be good. A little worried that's too strong. 
but it's a plus nine. Can we get another plus nine? <laughs> yes, we can. Now this is the tricky one. Okay, we got it on there. I'm thinking maybe just like this would be acceptable. Ah, oh, darn, we just needed that. Ah, oh, no. Well, I mean, I say that, but we would have needed that and then a perfect 10. I think fair. We just landed too many eats before that. Darn, that's a really tough one. I wish I could just keep practicing it, but it's gonna be failed, and then you gotta go and do it again. There we go, exactly 80 points. That one didn't take me as many tries, but it was still really rigorous. Oh man, those take so much effort. But there we go, we get 100, 200, 230 points. Not quite a level up, but that's fine. All the challenges are done here in the Balmy Dunes. Man, this has been a long episode. Wow, what an approach. Feel free to swing back by, back by if you want more. All right, sounds good. I think I'm out of here though. I've had my fill of the desert oasis that is Balmy Dunes. Next episode, we'll be heading into the woods, which I'm really excited for. It's been fun improving at golf, even if it is really challenging at times, but hopefully we can keep at it in the next episode of Mario Golf Super Rush. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.